What is bias and what can we do about it? In the last few months at Six Seconds, together with our allies from around the world and from many different cultures, we've worked on understanding how emotional intelligence can support people to notice and disrupt bias. Bias is our brain's tendency to evaluate something as better or more true without sufficient evidence. There's a number of different kinds of well-known biases. For example, most people have a bias that tall people are more believable. Some biases are less innocent. Generally speaking, people have an ageism bias where they perceive young people as less credible and they have negative associations with people who are aging. One of the other disturbing biases is confirmation bias, which leads us to find evidence that supports our existing perspective and again makes it very challenging for us to learn because we only accept data that matches our pre-existing beliefs. You scroll through your social media feed and there's 10 pieces of data, but the three that agree with you are the ones that you're most likely to look at. These biases are built into the way our brains are wired. It's connected with creating efficiency, as we've discussed in other videos about recognizing patterns. Our brains naturally form these systems in order to make it easier for us to process the data in front of us, which is fine, except when we're trying to grow and change and do things differently. In which case, these neural shortcuts make it much harder for us to be conscious and awake and engaged in the world in the way we mean to. In terms of racism, sexism, bias against particular genders or other groups, we also have an affinity bias. We tend to like people who look and sound like us. This is deep in our architecture as social animals. For our survival as a pack, we pay attention to who's in and who's out, and the people who are on the outside have less value to us. This is incredibly destructive when it's fueled by social conventions, systemic racism, or political leaders who are trying to divide us. One of the things that we can do to disrupt our bias is to begin by recognizing that it exists. If you have a brain, you have bias. It's part of how we're wired. Are we paying attention and noticing when we're getting caught up in the bias? Are we noticing when the data doesn't match the conclusions that we're making? Are we finding a wide enough range of data and challenging our own assumptions? And even just asking, is this what I'm really seeing or is this my bias at work? We have choices about how we think, how we feel, and how we act. These choices make a tremendous difference in the way we engage with other people and the world and the way we engage with ourselves. So now, how can we use emotional intelligence to help us disrupt the bias? As my colleague Michael Eatman says, we start by paying attention. What do I need to be aware of? Step two, what are my options? Step three, what am I committed to? If we're committed to connecting with one another empathically, purposefully, we have power to disrupt bias, to disrupt racism, and to engage with one another as fellow human beings. Now it's your turn. How are you gonna disrupt bias?